I'm Mario Trojan from uh, the University Library of Tübingen. I talked about search engine optimization on previous conferences, and I thought it might be a good point to give a little update, um, especially about things that many people already mentioned during the conference, and there's a certain problem with certain bots. Um, can I use my... Oh, okay. So um, we're having a look at our server performance recent, uh, like regularly, and uh, I'm not sure whether you can read the numbers, but um, we re recently had a day at the beginning of September where we found out that uh, bots like GPT bot and uh, Cloud bot are harvesting us like crazy. So if you look at bots that we basically don't want, it looks like that they are more than 50% of the calls of all the bots that are harvesting our websites. In this case, it was xco.de plus subsystems. So the thing is, what, what can we do about this? Um, of course, uh, there are, oh, okay, the headline is a bit messy. Um, so there are, from, from the details of the bots, usually you can see in the user agent what um, each user agent is about. And for example, for the open AI related user agents, you can see in the documentation that the GPT bot is explicitly used to crawl content that may be used in training the generative AI foundation models. Um, whereas the um, chat GPT or custom GPT um, Bots, when, when uh, basically um, they're asked a question, it, the bots may visit the web page to help answer and include a link to the source in its response. So it, uh, it really depends on which user agent string is used and you can decide which one you uh, want to keep and allow or block. So I'm not going to go more into the, into the detailed question whether it's, it's good or bad to block them. I think that's very controversial, uh, still an open discussion. Um, of course, there's your old um, old style server configuration with robots.txt that you can use. But apparently, as we all know, this might work, might not work. Sometimes you do changes to the robots.txt and it works like an hour later. And some bots do not honor it at all. So there are a couple of things um, that you can basically uh, uh, do uh, if it's not honored. Uh, there has been a feature in WooFind 10 for rate limiting, which has been written by uh, Ere Mayala. Um, and um, there you can basically configure in a, in a YAML file how many requests are allowed in a certain amount of time. And then that will be executed uh, at an application level. Um, I provided lots of links on the slide so you can go into that deeper yourself if you're interested. Uh, as an alternative, um, you can also use some uh, like uh, server, HTTP server modules like Apache modules. Uh, there's an example on Stack Overflow using mod security where you can de in detail say which user agent uh, will be allowed to be crawled in which amount of time in case you want to limit it more, more strictly or even, even deny it on a low level. Of course, as a last resort, I also heard that many people have problems right now, for example, being crawled by bots from China. So uh, you can think about, of course, changing your firewall rules and also block IP ranges. However, of course, IP ranges which are used by bots may also change. So if you think you locked them out and the day later it might change and you still uh, have to keep an eye out uh, permanently. Then there was a change that we did to the sitemaps. Um, I think it went into WooFind 10. Uh, because um, if you use the uh, sitemap generation in WooFind, uh, so far I think you only had the opportunity to put a change frag in there and maybe a priority. But the thing is also that many bots, like for example, uh, the Google bot ignores the priority and change frag values. So for us, for XCO, we have 4 million records. That means that he basically doesn't know which one he should crawl and then he just tries to crawl them uh, on a regular basis over and over again. So what we did was to combine the sitemap with a change tracker. And now actually in the sitemap, you have the information which, um, which record has been changed at what point. So that makes it of course a lot, um, a lot better for the bots to decide. And maybe they will then only crawl every year like 100,000 pages again that they already had crawled instead of the whole index. Um, Another problem uh, is um, we had a deeper look into the Google Search Console, which, which um, URLs are actually listed. 
Um, and we noticed that lots of records are listed multiple times with different kinds of URLs, but it all, always referred to the same record, like description pages, or here you can see, like I think the fourth example from the top, sometimes for whatever reason, I don't think we, we have this index.php linked anywhere, maybe some external website linking to us has this, uh, but then um, it occurs in, in on the Google any, uh, site anyway, and it thinks it's a different page sometimes. So what we did was we um, added a header uh, in WooFind 10 at the record page so that uh, the bots can um, definitely see ah, it's just a different variant of the same page and the page will only occur once. And of course, we hope that this will also include uh, in, improve the, the crawling and cause for less uh, pages, less, less duplicate pages. Uh, uh, crawling by bots. Um, one thing that I, I think is still problematic is, is this um, SID that came in, I think it was around 9.0, 9 uh, that was added because of um, navigation within the search results. So if you open a record, then you can click, click on um, previous or next. And of course, uh, the bots are crawling the search results. So uh, it could be that they crawl the same uh, the same record over and over again because of a different SID. However, no, now they know it belongs to the same canonical page. Another thing that we found out was um, regarding rel no follow. Um, sometimes these are missing. So in the in the WooFind themes, this is explicitly marked as, as bot should not crawl this. For example, if you export things as mark XML or, um, or other formats. So we try to find that. Please have a look out in your custom themes if you missed some of them out. Because if you only missed out one of them, for us, we have 4 million records. It could lead to 4 million unnecessarily crawls because only because one template does not contain this nofollow link. Yeah, and there are other server-related server, server -related, uh, configuration options that you can do. For example, enable HTTP2 uh, that some bots support for faster page loads. And also, um, yeah, one, also one thing that we had, this is my last slide, um, that uh, we had X www as a prefix not redirected to the main domain, which led to uh, the bots treating the www and the other main page as two entirely different websites. So watch out for your server configuration uh, and check that. And of course, if you have any more questions, we can go into that. But I think for a lightning talk, that's basically enough. Okay. Later on. Okay. Thanks.